Happy Tuesday to you. I am Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. It's that time of the afternoon when I update you on what's happening in the tropics. Of course, we do this every single day as long as we're in hurricane season and it's still just the beginning. Hurricane season runs all the way through the end of November. There are a few changes I need to tell you about, so let's hop right in and let me talk about what's going on. I'm going to start off in the eastern Pacific for this afternoon because that is actually where we have the most action. We have a tropical wave and now as of the latest afternoon advisory, we have our very first tropical storm of the eastern Pacific season. The name is Adrian and it developed this afternoon. It was already looking fairly impressive. Even before they gave it a name, it was up to a 100% shot for development over the next 48 hours. And as that last advisory came out, over the last hour or so it was upgraded to tropical storm Adrian. So as I mentioned, the first tropical storm of the eastern Pacific season. Good news, it is moving away from Mexico, so it's not going to be impacting any land areas anytime soon. This other tropical wave off to the east of it is a little bit closer to Mexico and Central America, but it is very disorganized right now. But the models are showing it getting more organized, getting its act together, and there is a 60 to 80 percent chance for development for this tropical wave, but it is also moving away from Mexico and Central America. Movement to the west northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. So there is a chance it could clip southern portions of Mexico as it pushes west northwest, but overall at this point at least it doesn't appear to be a huge threat. Back to our first tropical storm in the eastern Pacific for this season, Adrian. Here are the current coordinates. Currently winds around 45 miles per hour, so it still is a fairly weak tropical storm, but it's in an environment where it could quickly strengthen, and it is actually forecast to become a Category 1 hurricane by tomorrow afternoon around 1 p.m., Maximum sustained winds expected to be around 75 miles per hour. Movement is to the west at 15 miles per hour, so that's taking it away from land. It's taking it away from Mexico. Pressure at 1,002 millibars, and this is the latest 4 p.m. advisory. So notice that it maintains that Category 1 hurricane status through Wednesday afternoon, Thursday afternoon, even into Friday afternoon. 80 to 85 mile per hour winds between Thursday and Friday afternoon, but then it kind of runs into some unfavorable environments out there. So it starts to weaken and by Sunday afternoon, it is expected to drop back down to 40 miles per hour. So it would no longer be a hurricane, but a minimal tropical storm. So we will watch Adrian, but it's not expected to have any impacts to Houston or Southeast Texas because it is moving in the wrong direction to affect us. It's moving away from our area. Of course, if something were in the Gulf, that would be very concerning for us, but things are very quiet at this point in the Gulf of Mexico. Nothing of a tropical variety going on in the Caribbean. We do have some disorganized showers and storms covering a big portion of the Lesser Antilles right now, but the National Hurricane Center is not giving this area of showers and storms any chance at this point to develop into a tropical depression, tropical storm, or hurricane. Farther north, we've still got the remnants of Cindy. Of course, Cindy was a tropical storm, but it ran into a lot of shear in the upper levels of the atmosphere that kind of ripped it apart and it quickly weakened. But we do still have a disorganized area of showers and storms out there in the western Atlantic. At this point, about 400 miles to the south of Bermuda. You can see Bermuda right there, that little dot out in the middle of the water, out in the middle of the Atlantic. So Cindy, or what's left of Cindy, will try to continue on its track towards Bermuda. It's forecast to reach Bermuda by Thursday or Friday, and there's still a teeny tiny chance that this could redevelop into a tropical cyclone, maybe a depression or a tropical storm over the next several days. Only a low 10% chance of that happening over the next two days, and a slightly higher, but still low, 20% shot for that happening over the next seven days. As far as any tropical activity for us, well, it should stay far away because as long as we've got this major heat dome over us, that's going to help to steer any tropical action away from our area. So this will be our weather pattern at least through the end of the week. But after that, 
I do expect a few changes. That heat dome finally will start to shift to the east, and that will allow us more clouds and more rain, but still I don't see any major tropical systems headed our way. But if we did have something to develop out in the Gulf, the Atlantic, or the Caribbean, we've got plenty of warm water out there to support some rapid development. We've got those sea surface temps in the middle 80s out in the Caribbean, out in the Gulf, and that water remains unseasonably and unusually warm for much of the Atlantic as well. So it's been a fairly quick start to the hurricane season. We've already had not one, not two, but three systems in the Atlantic Basin, Arlene, Brett, and Cindy. The interesting thing to note is that the remnants of Cindy, if they redevelop, it would no longer be called Cindy, but they would go ahead and name the next storm Dawn. So we may have Dawn in the next couple of days. We'll continue to monitor that, but right now we've had three named storms and we likely will have several more as we go through the remainder of our hurricane season. We've got a long way to go. We're still in the first month of hurricane season where we typically don't have a ton of action, but of course the peak months would be August and September. October can still be fairly active and busy, but then we start to see things kind of wind down as we get towards November. Of course, hurricane season ends on November 30th. So overall, it's looking a little active out there in the Eastern Pacific. We've just got the remnants of Cindy in the Atlantic, nothing in the Caribbean, nothing in the Gulf of Mexico. But of course, when things are quiet like this for us, now is a good time to review your hurricane plan, review your insurance, make sure that you have the insurance coverage that you want and or need. And it's also a good idea to make sure you have the Fox 26 weather app downloaded on your phone. You can get the latest tropical weather. You can get a lot of other features with our local weather and any hurricane or tropical storm or tropical depression alerts that pop up, of course, you can get those as well. Just turn the alerts on and you can kind of specialize it and basically get whatever type of alerts you want. Of course, you need the heat alerts locally, but of course, you can get tropical information as well. Well, that is all that I have for you today. Hopefully things will stay fairly quiet for us in the tropics. They are now, but we know that can change in an instant. And that's why we give you these updates every day so you can be prepared. Once again, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist for Misha Shade. Enjoy the rest of your day.